know, so I'm so sorry, but I saw a spoiler. I was like, bro. <laughs> like, Guys, it's all what Camilla it looks like. was like, I will rat your ass out. No, I said she that. Was like, Claire was like, Ruby season nine, episode eight. Pictures. No. No, <laughs> no I literally looked up Ruby volume nine. I thought that was only on course. Twitter. I was on Chrome. I did not know. She showed Ruby Camilla looks like. the red, white black and yellow trailer she also already went ahead she's like oh your favorite character is yang well guess what happens to her arm like, yeah. yeah that's a whole plot <laughs> point of a season <laughs> i'm not good i'm not good keeping secrets it's a robot ourselves. now it's a robot arm i mean it is with a gun I was yeah. like, bro. <laughs> you guys, that was the plot point of like, that was a plot point for her character for like a whole season, right? Right. Literally, all of like chopped off four. the end of all the horrible things that happened in volume three. <laughs> she lost her arm and all volume four, she was always like, I'm sad. No, she was no, like, she I'm was. sad and I hate everybody. Remind me again how when she was Ruby episode, told her she was leaving. Remind hey, 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 hey. Remind me again, did she say sorry? Or did she just say I love you? Remind oh, me oh. again. But she still has her arm. But she got shot. <laughs> but she still has her arm. But she still got the shot. Well, she recovered. But she still got are shot. You, are you? Okay, can we cut out that whole part, though? Take two. What the hell was that? I don't have a clapboard. No. No, let's not take three. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. Hello, we are story. No, no, it ain't. Hello, we are story. No! <laughs> Hello, we are no! story. No, I'm doing it. Okay, okay. Thank you. Let's just take. Hey, hey, hey. Volume on the microphone. Then can we make go to take four? Okay. Yes. Hello, welcome to story panel. <laughs> okay, take five. <laughs> you almost spit out my water. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello, we are starting fast! Hey! Max, come on! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Max! You ready? Yes. No. Take six. <laughs> Welcome to Story Fandom. Today we're going to watch Ruby Season 9, Episode 8. Here amid terrible trouble. Warning, this episode contains themes. Themes which might be distressing mm. for some viewers. Distressing for some viewer, viewer, vi, 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 whatever. Watch with caution. Ta da! Hey, 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 hey. I am finished. I also want. I also saw a spoiler. Yes. She did. We're not getting into that again. <laughs> it's basically... Uh, this is like take six. Basically. <laughs> seven or something. <laughs> six. So basically... <laughs> long story so I kept complaining to a friend at school that I saw a... Um, spoiler. Because I woke... I wanted to show a friend that starting ruby so i wanted to show a picture of her favorite character yang and then i and she wanted to spoil all the plot points about yang <sighs> so basically then this right here is camila ratted me out i have camila's name I would assume they'd figure that with her name. And why would you list somebody else's name? Be like, and then my friend, Bob. <laughs> oh, Yang's your favorite character. She loses her arm. <laughs> Good luck. Anyway, so. 
with this because we understand the warrant's going to be distressing. Everyone's been talking about it. I've been trying to stare for spoilers. And, and by everyone, we mean there was literally only one comment on the and YouTube video. We only had like 13 comments the last video. Okay, so one comment that's a small percentage. But I don't know the math. Okay, the point is. He doesn't math. I don't yeah. math. Point is, Mom's we will be method. trying to pause if we need to to take a breather. So, with that said, are you guys ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your screen is already going dark. Well, that's how long it took us to begin <laughs> doing this. <laughs> Here we go. Din din din. That was really long. <laughs> din din din. It's gonna have an opening. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it gets worse because them two dance <laughs> over here. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> And then soon. There they are. Yeah. So basically, in the show, they said that. Alex tricked so him. Okay, so why uh, would you trust him? Is it a spoiler? No. Okay. If the curious oh, cat the was. See, he, he helped the Alex really? and he. Can, and she betrayed oh, him. Like you said, and she didn't do the what she promised. Then why did he trust another human? Maybe? I don't know. 
something on him. What if Neo's the Mad Hatter? Maybe. That is Neo right there. And she does have a hat. What is this? Hello, Red. <laughs> Been a while. How's the hero biz treating you? Wow. I gotta say, I'm not looking too good. Where's Neo? Yeesh, no manners. And after everyone came out to see you! Salutations, Ruby! Hello again! Ms. Rose, why don't you take a seat? How is she doing this? <laughs> following a talking cat around a fairy tale. <laughs> Reality's getting fuzzier by the minute, kid. You know, once Neo realized where she was, everything changed. Always loved the idea of a place to run away from it all. Do whatever you want. I offered that to her back on Remnant. We all remember how that ended. Is that seriously what this is all about? You still blame me for what happened to Torchwick? <sighs> You're looking for an apology? You've wasted your time. They say everyone thinks they're the hero of their own story. But I knew what I was. And deep down, I think you know what you are too. <laughs> <laughs> the leaves from the tree? Oh, you're familiar. How about a little reset? Is that what you want? Well, if you want me dead, then come get me. <laughs> you don't deserve to die, Red. You deserve to be broken down. Torn apart. Wiped from existence. <laughs> Him? No, I think it's one of her illusions. I'm going yeah. to enjoy watching you break. She finally understands things like we believe in you. We can count on you. I know we mean well, but, but it's, it's not, not like we are asking her to be perfect. I'm gonna give it a second to buffer because we're kind of lagging. How's everyone doing? Okay. I, can't I mean, believe. weren't they expecting her to be perfect? Mm. Why finally um, gets it? Mm. <laughs> Everyone does rely on her. She always need. I mean, maybe one. they didn't expect her to be perfect, but they relied very heavily on the youngest one there. Yeah. Yeah, she was the youngest. Alright, let's see if it's buffered enough. Who would you have said you know who's best for us? I was the best and brightest speaking hat to offer. Oh, you're 
best intentions. Have you ever stopped to wonder if you've done more harm than good? It's no life. How many more lives do you have to ruin before you realize you're not put out to save anyone? Just Maybe illusion. don't pause it on that. Oh. He's dead? There. Maybe pause it there. Yeah, there. He's not <laughs> dead. Again, this is Neo messing with Ruby. You sure? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're not there. They're not there in, in the a ever vacuum. after. Remember Oscar, Nora, Ren, Winter... On the, pretty much just about all the uh, I know all of them the West the citizens pretty much made it most of them made it to Batgirl through the gate and then they couldn't come back in again it was one way Oscar made it there so Oscar's safe this is all just so that she can make her pay for Torchwick basically which one's Torchwick again the one, the the orange hair. The one who calls a little red. What did he... How did he die? They were on the airship at the end of Volume 3, and they were fighting. And, you know, he almost had her beat, and then a griffin came down and ate him. So really, it's it's Salem's fault that he's dead, because her griffin ate him. But Neo it was already gone. They've been fighting on the airship, and then Ruby pressed the button on her umbrella, and the wind caught the umbrella and yanked Neo off. Mm. Can I just cover my eyes? Okay. Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you really think you can stand to watch more of your <laughs> friends fall? Please stop. Or are you ready to admit the truth? That the world would just be better off without you. That's poison. That's part of the tree. It's supposed to reboot her. What did that do? It's did... supposed to make her into someone else. I mean, forget. hero on the show mm -hmm. but I know it's kind of creepy so I'm trying to cover your eyes here a little bit do you want to take another breather okay <laughs> I'm only gonna ask this once do you want us to finish this episode without you and tell you what happened I know that that's not how you usually want things but this is pretty upsetting here <laughs> Do you, do you want to watch this? No. Do you still want a few minutes? Do you want to talk about some stuff really quick while we're doing that? Why is he doing that? Well, he's in the middle of explaining why. Kind of. 
goes to the office too. But I can't imagine there's much more here that he can find out about. I'm Maybe he pretty sure he's to... probably spent his entire life there, and so he knows everything there is to know. But Remnant would be different. Remnant would be new. And I'm going to guess that this place is either the place that created the brothers or was created by the brothers. So maybe like how they left Remnant, they left here. Unless, so, of course... Well, he was also saying something else after he said something about the curiosity thing. He said... Yeah, he said he also was curious why his creators left him. Creators left him there. Maybe... Yeah. They created a bunch of people on the other after the brothers. <coughs> they were the curious cat and they seemed curious. And then they said, well, I'm going to leave. Bye. Maybe. But... Ruby's going to be okay. Maybe this was one of those episodes that we should have looked up. <laughs> Can one of you guys please look on how to save? Because a mouse can't feed a cat. But maybe the mouse can buy her time until the other girls get there. I want to go. You want me to cover your eyes? And daddy can cover your eyes? I want to know who saves her. Or at least the old Pally. I'll look it up. I got it. I can look it up. Well, you're the one that's being good. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Mm. What? 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 I'm gonna say something happened with the mouse. What happened? That's what I was expecting, to be honest. What happens to the mouse? Yeah, well, I think at this point we're going to stop this episode. No! I read down the full list of what happens. Please tell me and I'll be ready for it. I'm... As much as we like to give people reactions... Please! We're going to have to tell her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And Unless she's going to have people... to be able to watch it, yeah. too. She Unless we want to give people reactions, I think at this point we're just going to go ahead and spoil everything for us. So, yeah. for people who are watching this, sorry, but right now, yeah. having her We have to this, take care of her yeah. more can, than react. Couldn't so. we well, we're gonna, this part out? We can still record this part. Yeah. Okay, so from what I read, what happens is this. When... Little tries to save Ruby right now. Neo shows up and she steps on and kills Little. And then Ruby, so broken up after seeing Little die after having just found out about this, gives up. And she drinks the tea. And so as Team Ruby finally shows up, the rest of the team catches up, she and Little get sucked into the earth. Now, again... They're not going to kill Ruby. Something's going to happen. Maybe she'll come back to someone with something different. Maybe she'll have memories. But she's not an Afrin, so we don't know how it's going to affect her. But the cat's angry. So instead of... Because it can't possess Ruby now. Ruby's gone. So instead, it possesses Neo. And it escapes. And apparently the scene of it possessing Neo is pretty terrifying. What happened? Did I, come I, I don't have the exact. It I was reading a summary. Yeah, it didn't exactly explain. Even the thing I read didn't say exactly. So that. I'm assuming then, Clara, that means it gets even more scary. But and I so I'm, I'm really worried. But I still. About, I'm really worried about you watching this. Yeah, you don't like body possession. And if it gets really. I'm going to watch however long this goes on. Okay. 
I'm really well. Just as a warning, though, Clara, so is that you, you ha- just as a warning, though, Clara, that you have to remember that this isn't a show meant for kids, and it's right now it's meant to be scary for adults too. I know. Yeah, and we've always said stuff like this. It has the power that you give it. We just know you give it a lot of power, and yeah. that's why we're being cautious. That's why you say some of your friends watch scary shows that we don't have you watch. Or they play scary games that you don't play. That's yeah, because... you play some games that aren't meant for kids, but... They're not scary. But they're very different than other things. There are certain things that we wouldn't have you watch or play. But I still want to keep watching Ruby. And I wasn't saying that we have you stop. I was just thinking maybe you don't watch the rest of this particular episode. That we then have you pick up with us with the next episode. But then this way, I don't... don't, She's she's not going to be willing to do it. I don't want you to have nightmares. We just have to be patient. Because... Honestly, if she doesn't watch it, she'll probably have nightmares that are worse than whatever does happen. Because her imagination is a lot bigger than this. I think. And also because she already saw a lot of yeah. the terrible things that's already been happening. Oh, it gets worse. I'm, I know. This, you, you're yeah, going to say that it hasn't been <laughs> I know. bad. I know. <laughs> well, I've kind of been at the threshold of where I'm comfortable. Are you sure? I have not know that I'm personally not very comfortable <laughs> watching it. I'm trying to be all respectful and everything, but honestly, I'm really worried. And I also understand why you might need to finish watching. But at the same time, like, my instinct to protect you is like, no, we're done. So I'm trying very hard here. Um, what if this... What if mom covers my ears, but when it gets, like, super, super scary, like, someone, like... Max is getting closer to you. Yeah, Max is like, I am here to check on you. He says, I am here. And he, like, really popping out his ass back here. (laughs) Like, his ass is on the arm of the couch, and he's just, like... like, Trying to think of what we could do to help her. Yep, there you go. There. You know, Max ass. all his junk... We're getting them. We're getting... Of course, they end up with my ass as well. So now we got two asses just like. Okay. No, <laughs> Oh, yeah. And then she had Zwei's ass the entire time. I like how then he, like, sunk. He He's like, like sunk I don't himself. know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, that was his reaction to that. So no money This way. You have a Grogu. And you can hide behind it. Yes. So when well, it gets I scary. Know if, well, we don't really know if there's going to be no more Neo forever, but. Yeah, we don't know. I like Neo. But me. I like Neo. I, I did. <laughs> God damn it. I, I, I like Neo, but I also don't like Neo. So this way you can hide. I'm gonna tell if you, I fight like Neo. And Grogu will use the Force Take protection. Out all the little wounds. Oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. All right. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready for the ears. <laughs> I got one side. You got the other. Yeah. I think it's about time we all got what we deserve. Are you 
ready to admit the truth. That the world would just be better off without you. Would that really Why not? make anything better? Reason to live. An empty host, perfect for me to fill. What is he though? It's okay. It's okay. I think that was supposed to be a parent. Yeah. You okay? Mm, we'll be. Well, like the review summary that I read pointed out, and I believe Ruby's not gone. You don't get rid of Ruby. The show is literally <coughs> called Ruby. So we don't know what effect that she's going to have on an after -in. Only, I mean, not someone who's not an after him. Only someone who found a hole that he can't open. Yeah. So maybe she'll end up at the tree. Maybe she'll... Remember? If she forgets. Maybe it'll... It's supposed to help you... Find when your role is complete. It's supposed to help you find your new your role. New purp your new but purpose. But her role is not complete. It isn't. So maybe it'll help her remind her of hers. I don't know. Don't maybe know all it does is like do takes away all the depression. It makes her a little bit more like herself. Or maybe it gives her the tools to keep going because you can't really ever just <clears throat> and cure depression. I mean it's a magic tree. I think they've tried to magic it away too many times. Definitely 
Grogu's coming out for the next episode as well, just in case. This is a pretty dark volume, kid. I know your desire to see a story through and know the ending. To know that it's happy. But... I know Ruby's story is going to be happy. It's gotta be. Remember we talked in the past about the way heroes will push down and push down and push down so that they can push back and rise back up? And sometimes they get pushed down really hard. Like Jean when Vera died. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this is them pushing Ruby really far down. Right. So that she can get back up. And when she gets back up, it'll be even more inspiring and happy and feel good because she was pushed so far down. Whenever I write a story, and granted, this is me, your mother, when she writes stories. <laughs> oh my god. I write comedy, she writes tragedies. But the point of being pushed down, the point of going through the horrible things, is that in the end of the day, the heroes win and survive against all odds. Okay. Let me put it to you like this. Ready? So, on Wednesday, when I finally broke, remember? When I came back, I spoke with Daddy about the fact that I had been pushing myself too far. And I had been taking on too much. And that I needed to learn to ask for help. Well, I told him that I think I identify with Ruby's character because I take on that role in my family very easily. I always have with my parents and my brothers and everybody else and all my friends and here. And I just do it naturally until it gets to be too much. But because I went through that, when I came back, I knew I couldn't do it again. Is that going to happen with Ruby? We don't know. But maybe. I mean, maybe could... she'll have a better understanding of her own limits. Because right now she has been pushed way beyond them. And so maybe when she comes back, she'll understand her own limits. And, maybe, and she'll be able to be honest with them. And maybe her fr her family and friends there will also understand her limits better. So that they can offer to help and to be there for her. Instead of just assuming that she's got this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was kind of weird in the episode. Mm -hmm. Hearing Neil talk, even though it wasn't real Neil. But still real. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to try to hear her voice. What is her voice? Actually, I believe her voice actress is Katie Lee Williams, the girl who sings all the songs. Yeah, but why don't you ever hear her? We don't know. I don't think they've ever explained why we don't, why Neo doesn't talk. No. Mm -hmm. We know she can, because we've heard her make noise, but she's never spoken. Maybe it's because of that. She built Pan's side, and, but she couldn't speak loud enough. She spoke too loud and said, I told you not to talk, and they killed her. They parents. do not look very nice. <laughs> it's possible. We did see another picture there. It looked like Roman was there, and we saw legs. So maybe this is the case of those were her parents, and she was always told that a child should be seen and not heard, and was never listened to or allowed mm. to talk until she got saved by Torchwick, because I'm assuming because he liked her semblance. And that's why she's so loyal to him, because he wanted her to be there. But because of that trauma, she doesn't talk. And the reason she was perfect for the cat is because when she got the one thing she finally wanted, there was nothing left of her. She was so wrapped up in revenge that when she got her revenge, she didn't know what to do next. 
Well, the voices of Torchwick <coughs> in her ear was talking about conquering and taking over and doing all this stuff, but as soon as she started talking like that, she was like, I don't, that's not me. I don't want to do that. Yeah. So maybe that's a sign that Neo was never really a truly evil person, even if she was a bad guy. And once now she's gotten her revenge and her anger is satiated, she, she's exactly. kind of lost because she doesn't want to be that bad of a person, but she's also got nothing else left. Yep. You know, I really like her, you know? The only person that there was, the other one's probably dead now. I'm pretty sure that person is dead. And Torchwick, but he is dead. So, there really isn't anyone to look after her, so she doesn't have anyone to, like, spend time with. And she got her revenge. What do Maybe you do? she'll end up pulling a, a face heel turn like Emerald did, and she'll join the good guy's side. Maybe in defeating the cat, she'll die too. We don't know. We'll see Ruby next episode. I can almost yeah. guarantee it. Almost. Well, they might not go to it right away. They might be following Yang and everyone. It's either going to open up following Jean and Yang and Weiss and Blake trying to get to where the tree and Ruby is, or it's going to cut to where Ruby is in, I'm assuming, darkness and whatever she's going through. But they could also wait for that. Like, if Ruby disappeared on the whole, they could do a whole episode with no Ruby. And it's just them trying to get to Ruby. And then start the next episode. Well, this is what Ruby's been doing in the meantime. Or they could do it the opposite way. Next episode would be what Ruby's doing. And then cut to the following episode being Yang and Blake and Weiss and John trying to get to her. Hey. So. Dad? What's up? When, when I, I noticed when she was following me, Ruby was like this, and you saw Yang, she was like. Yeah, Yang froze there pretty hard. I mean, you'd think at least pre Fall of Beacon, Yang would have immediately launched herself at Neo, go. standing over her sister like that. Yang looked like she kind of froze. And then she did so lose. Well, they all kind of did at first. Yeah. She, and when she was going to go to a, it was already about to close. It was already closing up and it closed. She wasn't able to make it. Yeah. It was uh, like with Pio, I think. She could not get to her. And she tried to, but at the very last moment, she was gone. Maybe. Well. Maybe now it's time for us to wrap this up. But before we do, Julius. You haven't said anything. So. I've been talking. <laughs> You've been chiming in, but oh. you haven't really been given a chance well, to what was your opinion? give your opinion on your thoughts. I don't have anything else. Hmm. <laughs> I like how every time I'm always single now, <laughs> even though I talk. You do talk, <laughs> but I'm giving you a chance to actually be the center of the conversation instead of it being one of us, and you chiming in along with us. I want you to also get to be the focus and have attention and your opinion matter. I talk. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'll say something if I want to say something. <laughs> Clara, do you want to do your rating? Is it really two thumbs up? Even though it, it's also like this. Check on your strong friends. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Did you get a, uh, what were all the pictures that were on the wall? I'm assuming Neo's past. Yes. I didn't get to see all the pictures. Maybe we can look at it later. Mm. Mm, can you see if there are multiple pictures? I doubt it. I mean, I'll fast forward a few seconds here. Why do 
I still peel up and then I'm gonna start zooming in? No, no after card scene. Why did it say I think it showed the pictures. She oh. probably could have watched to see all the pictures. <laughs> Why yeah. didn't you see? No, I was going to say at like 15, 3, 6, would have been fine. I don't think it's gonna show all the pictures. No. Why did I guess say blue switch color? Swatch. Blue color swatch. And red color swatch. In other words, the base color they use for them. Showy anime we watch, and he did the first season of the voice, and then the second season of the voice on different because they had to replace him. I'd have to look it up. Hey mm. guys, mm. I was wondering why why was the first person he went to was Neo? And why did the cat choose Neo? Mm -hmm. Because she was empty. The other girls were still being resilient, so they weren't empty. I mean, they were upset and, and all that, but the reason he needed Ruby was because she was officially broken at that point. She had been broken down by everything, and then eventually even more so by Neo. But then once Neo got her revenge and got what she wanted, she... Neo was empty. She was empty. She didn't have anything else to want. She didn't have anything else driving her. The one thing she wanted, she got. And then that was it. Why did it actually look like it said right after it did that? Why did it say Ruby? And it fell. Dead. What? In the show. When? When, when it showed off when it was being on, she got her up and she did that. And he was like, Ruby. Because Neo was hurting her. So yeah. she switched Ozpin out for... For Oscar, who Ruby cares about. And even though she doesn't always trust Ozpin, she trusts Oscar. And why did Penny and Peel? Because Ruby blames herself. <laughs> Everyone on that table, the people that Ruby feels like she failed, she couldn't save Pira. She couldn't save Penny either time. She couldn't save, um, what's his name? I forget right now. From Aesop's. From Aesop's. She couldn't save the um. Lionheart. She couldn't save Ozpin originally. And she couldn't save, uh... Ironwood. Ironwood. What did Ironwood do? No, she couldn't save him from himself. Yeah. Did he do he, She feels like he only became who he became because she betrayed him. Because she wasn't honest with him. She didn't tell him from the beginning, hey, we can't. She says, Ozpin doesn't think, says we can't beat Sam, says she can't die. And he didn't find that out till like the worst possible timing and then he kind of went off the deep end and said, you know what? Screw it, we're running, we're running away with Atlas. Yeah. Leader went off to die. And she feels like he only became that because she wasn't honest with him. She made the choice. I mean, they all talked about it, but they relied on her to make the ultimate choice. She was the leader. And she is the one who lied. So. She's the one who said that the questions were all used up and they didn't have any more. Yeah. And she's the one who purposely didn't tell him why Ozpin was gone from Oscar's head. A 
Okay. It's getting pretty late. I think it was a very good episode, but yes, a very dark episode. And we'll see how we go forward from here. Yeah. I don't really want you feeling this traumatized, my love. I don't know what I'm saying or what to do going forward, but seeing you this sad, I don't like it. I think it's sad people. I know, but mm -hmm. never mind. <laughs> if you like our content, or if you think we're horrible parents and you just want to yell at us and help boost our YouTube algorithm. Or if you actually, I don't know, stuck around for this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell. We'll see you guys again.